This is a tough time of year if you have sensitivities to temperature change. One thing I've been hearing a lot lately from a lot of my members of The Missing Link is that this temperature change that we're having in the northeast of the United States is really getting to them. They feel that a lot of their symptoms, whether it be weakness or fatigue, sensation, cognitive issues, one or several are worsening in this temperature change. And often the reason for that is because of cold intolerance. We're going from summer to fall, and when that happens, the barometric pressure changes and the temperature is changing. We're going from warm to hot weather to all of a sudden low 30 degrees Fahrenheit and just really chilly temperatures. So your core temperature is changing too. A TOPS phenomenon states that if your core temperature drops or rises by at least half of a degree, then you can have symptoms occurring. If you're able to manage your core temperature, then those symptoms should be either much less or they should go away. Heat intolerance is more common than cold intolerance in multiple sclerosis. What heat intolerance is would be when you're outside on a hot day or you're taking a hot shower and one or several of your symptoms worsen and it's because your core temperature has risen by half of a degree. But in this case, with changing temperatures from summer to fall, it's more indicative of cold intolerance. Cold intolerance is when your core temperature drops by at least half of a degree, and when it drops, you are feeling one or several of your symptoms worsen. So the best way to reduce your cold intolerance and hopefully reduce these symptoms that are worsening for you during this temperature change is to manage your core temperature. The Missing Link program has tons of different options for you. However, the one that I wanna tell you right now is to sip hot water. What this does is you are ingesting a warm, hot fluid, and that can actually increase your core temperature. And when you increase your core temperature, that can help you adjust to these temperature changes. Especially at the beginning of season changes, your body is not used to the temperature that it's becoming. So because we're going from summer to fall, 50 degrees feels very chilly, or especially 40 degrees feels chilly and cold. Whereas in the springtime, 40 and 50s actually feel pretty good. But because your body right now is used to warmer weather, those 30s and 40s and 50 degrees does feel chilly. So you need to make sure your core temperature is staying neutral. And drinking warm fluids is just one of several ways to keep your core temperature neutral instead of dropping lower and then worsening your symptoms. And the opposite is true of heat intolerance. This is less likely this time of year. However, because it's cold outside, if your home is really warm and you feel like your symptoms are worsening, then it could be that because you are in a warm room, you are having heat intolerance. Or if you took a hot shower that day, you're having heat intolerance. So sip ice cold water in order to keep your core temperature low and not have those symptoms worsen. I hope these tips are helpful. Please comment below if you've actually tried drinking cold water or drinking warm or hot water to help you manage your symptoms during heat or cold intolerance. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I hope you found it valuable. If you enjoyed it, please remember to press the thumbs up button, press the subscribe button, and share with a friend. And YouTube seems to think you like these videos, so if you have some extra time, go ahead and check them out.